Hey guys, Dan with Pain Free U. Um, you hear the Blue Jays? They're out. It's fall. Um, today's topic. I want to address kind of a sticking point that I'm seeing in a lot of the comments and I guess a lot of the beliefs that people have. And, you know, sometimes our pains... Well, let me back up. This topic today is about nerve damage or neurological uh, issues, right? Um, I see a lot of people who have symptoms that are kind of like nerve pain. They're stabbing pains, they're burning, numbness, tingling, uh, sharp pains. Look, sometimes muscle spasms feel a little bit different. You can actually feel the muscle tighten. You know, the back is clenching, kind of like when your calf tightens up during a charley horse we have that back spasms those things are much easier to recognize as muscle issues but when we have things like weakness numbness burning tingling um, and we go to the doctors and they they say this is a neurological disorder or disease or you know, you start looking up and seeing the word nerve damage. Um, there are neurological tests that look at things like reflex sensitivities. And any good doctor can tell you whether or not your neuro neurologic test is normal or not normal. And the presence of these symptoms do not determine. It's not proof that you've got neurological damage, no nerve damage, no neurological disease or disorder. What we've got, as Dr. Schubner describes, and I think he mentioned this uh, in his interview with Eddie Lindenstein on the Mind and Fitness podcast, we've got these uh, neurological circuits that are misfiring. Doesn't mean the nerve itself is damaged, broken, or diseased. It just means that these circuits are firing when they probably shouldn't be. And a lot of this has to do with the stress, the negative emotions, the tensions, the beliefs, the learned neural pathways that can keep these neural circuits firing long after any injury, if there ever was any, or tissue damage, if there ever was any, in most cases it's not, um, but we can learn these neural pathways and they can keep firing and firing and firing. And to an untrained doctor who doesn't know anything about this mind-body process, this psychophysical pain disorder, um, to an untrained doctor, this can look like a neurological disorder or nerve damage or, you know, something like that. And look, um, I don't like labels. I don't like symptom discussions. Uh, I don't even like talking about this stuff because every time I say nerve damage, somebody in this audience is going to go, oh my god, that's me. But the presence of symptoms does not prove nerve damage. It just means that you've got some circuits in your brain that are firing when they, when they probably shouldn't because there's no disease process. So if you have these type of weird symptoms, try to find out from the doctor, did your neurological test come out normal? And if they say, yeah, your neurological test is normal, I don't know why you're having so much pain or symptoms or burning or numbness or weakness or tingling, that's great news because it just means the circuits are firing when they shouldn't be and we can unlearn that process through this work through these mind-body approaches and beliefs and and experiences so if you have adopted neurological disorder or nerve damage as what's wrong with you and there's people who go yeah I can see some of my stuff as TMS I had back pain and that's gotten a little bit better but I have nerve damage maybe maybe not what are the neurological tests indicate you know do you have the reflexes do you have you know the sensitivities I don't know exactly what goes into a nerve test at a doctor's office but they do and they can tell you whether or not your nerve 
tests are normal or not. And again, the presence of symptoms does not mean the nerves are damaged, broken, or diseased. It just means they're misfiring. And if you've ever had a headache, it doesn't mean you've had a brain aneurysm. It just means you've got a headache. So some is, you know, some circuits are not working right there. So look, nerve damage. Where's the proof, right? Can they actually see it on an, on an MRI CAT scan? I don't know. Probably not. In most cases that I've heard people claim that they've got nerve issues. Um, I say, well, what, is, what does the MRI say? Oh, they can't see it. What does the doctor say? Well, they can't really be sure, but the symptoms indicate nerve damage. Well, again, symptoms do not prove nerve damage. So please let go of that belief because it is nothing more than a theory um, hefted on you by doctors who have no clue why you're feeling the way you're feeling and have no clue how to help you. So dig more into the stress illness world, right? dig more into Schubner, into Dr. David Clark, Dr. Hanscom, Dr. Schechter. These are real medical doctors who have bridged the gap between medicine and TMS, right? And there is a place for doctors to say, look, if you've got nerve type of symptoms, have a neurological test. If it's coming out normal, but there's still pain or other symptoms, like, you know, if the nerves are normal and they can't see nerve damage or prove it through lack of reflexes, lack of any sensitivity or whatever it may be. Um, and again, don't take my explanations of these nerve tests. See a doctor about that. But if what they're saying is that the nerve tests come out okay, but there must be damage because you've got these symptoms. Accept the evaluation that there's no nerve damage but don't accept the prognosis right maybe i didn't say that clearly um except the fact that it looks like nerve damage but if they can't prove it to you through neurological testing that shows that it's not working as it should don't accept their determination um doc is it life-threatening no have people ever gotten better from this yes should i worry about it no and even if they say, yes, you should worry about it, say, why? Right? Look, I hate these symptom discussions. I hate these medical discussions. I don't even feel comfortable doing this. Why? I'm not a doctor. But boy, I've seen some people get rid of all sorts of crazy symptoms. Weakness going away, burning, tingling going away from one day to another. People having this stuff for years and getting better. Steve Ozanich, look at him. He could barely walk. His leg was dragging. He was in a wheelchair, I believe, for a while. All sorts of neurological problems. He's fine, right? It's proof that these doctors' determinations are based on guesses and theories. So the presence of symptoms, the message for this whole video is the presence of symptoms are not proof of damage or disease. If you're not dying, there's no major tumors, aneurysms, anything pressing on nerves that can be really determined and seen. Most likely these are TMS or mind-body symptoms of too much stress, TMS. So if you're walking around saying, but I have a neurological problem. Well, I could have done that for 13 years because I had sciatica. I actually met some guy years ago who was walking around with a cane. And I said, yeah, have you ever heard of Dr. Sarno? He goes, yeah, I know about that guy, but I have a neurological disorder. Yeah, it's called sciatica. I get it. <laughs> and I got rid of it. And so, you know, accepting and wearing that label as almost a badge of honor and saying, I'm different because I've got a nerve problem. I've got a nerve damage or disease. When in fact, the nerve tests are okay. Then you're putting a limitation on yourself. You're basically walking into the prison, shutting the door, locking the door and throwing away the keys. Because by accepting that label, it's gonna be really hard for any of this TMS work to work. 
So evaluate what labels are you carrying around? What medical terms are you accepting as proof? And are, if you've ever said, I have TMS, I've had it all my life, but this one thing, that's not it. And so how do I deal with this one thing? And then you're gonna continue to struggle. So if you've got TMS for a few things and you can see that and buy that, but this one thing, I would encourage you to open your mind to the fact that maybe this one thing is also TMS. It just looks like something else. So what do you guys think of this? Um, if you're walking around saying you got nerve damage, I'm gonna say, doctor, prove it. Prove it. Symptoms don't prove nerve damage. Symptoms are just symptoms. And as Dr. Schubner says, they could just be misfiring circuits in the brain that make it look that way, but are not truly nerve damage or disease. So hopefully this helps for any of you folks out there with uh, symptoms that look like nervous system damage or disease or disorders. So it's all TMS, guys. That's my take. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.